guys, welcome back to the channel. Just want to give you guys a small uh, update on the intake manifold that I spent a couple hours last night uh, put back together. This is the intake manifold that uh, Lloyd Elliott had uh, ported uh, from down in Texas. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys, as, you, as many of you are aware or have uh, worked on your own, they're not very hard to work on or put together um, but when it comes to the uh, porting of one it's a different story it can take a little bit very very time consuming but uh, yeah I just wanted to show you guys a, a close-up of what mine looks like um, it's uh, I, I like it and of course that's all that matters but um start off it is the black powder coat don't mind the red or I'm sorry the blue tape in here this these are simply uh, covering up the injectors the exiting side and these are the, pur the purple side right here these are injector dynamics they are 1,000 cc's. Let me grab a flashlight real quick. So you guys can see a little better. There we go. So nothing too crazy. As you can see, some of this is I don't want to say fairly old, but you know, what are you gonna do in some of these some of these cases? It's it's, it's a budget build. I'm not gonna go out and spend a whole bunch of money on making all this stuff look professionally done and whatnot. As long as it works and it gets the job done, that's all that matters, right? I do believe my map sensor right here is a uh, two bar. I'm pretty sure. I do have the uh, Holly, if you can see it here, the Holly uh, throttle body. And yes, it is extremely nice. It is a twin 58. Let's see if I can get you guys to be able to see inside of it. See if I can stick that flashlight inside that port right there. Make a little bad for you. There we go. That right there is what Lloyd Elliott does best. stuff <clears throat> everything else is all the same same stuff how the engine before regarding a lot of the uh, <coughs> hoses and whatnot same thing over here and this this one right here was bent pretty bad earlier so I had to come in with the a uh, wrench open and or I'm sorry close in and, and bend it back it was bent I actually somehow it got bent to a 90 but I bent it back I am running the adjustable air motive uh, fuel regulator with a let me see if we can see it now summit fuel gauge I tried to keep everything as, cl as clean as I possibly could. I don't get too much light. I don't want to block it out. Oh, on the back here, I think you guys can see that. Off plate 
plates. These are the uh, aluminum. And these also came with the intake manifold when I purchased it all so many years ago. And everything was ported. I didn't want to keep this too long of a video. I just want to give you guys a an update on the that thing. For the most part finished. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, for the most part today I'm gonna take the fuel rod back off. What? Three minutes of that. Excuse me. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the uh, tape. I had to have a machine shop. Uh, make washers, uh, spacers, pretty much, uh, to go right uh, between the intake manifold itself. See the flashlight again. The intake manifold itself, right here, and the um, bottom. I'm sorry. Yeah, pretty much the bottom of the uh, fuel injector. Eat all four of them, and that simply allows there's when the initial um, the initial startup of the car. E, oh boy, year and a half, two years ago, um, we had an issue driving the car over to the dyno. We had a severe a really bad uh, fuel leak and um, a damn near cost of fire, fire on the car and I just started it and that was after the, the um, putting the uh, engine in it, transmission in it, uh, so on and so forth uh, that was after, I'm sorry, that was after yeah, same thing but we took everything out um, that was when we did away with the nitrous and went with the uh, the procharger so uh, we had a real bad fuel leak and so I killed the engine and um, my uh, my tuner um, <clears throat> Paul Bricker over at Thrower, Thr Thr Thrower Ride Unlimited who will be um, partaking in this build um, he had advised on getting some spacers or washers uh, to put in between there due to the amount of pressure from the stock injectors I it's too early for me to be, for me to be doing math but um, the percentage of the fuel rate or the spitting of the injectors uh, the uh, I'm trying to say how you want to, how I want to word it. The level, the force that was pushing it up. It was literally, it was there was so much force pushing from the ECU because nothing was really tuned yet. So it was getting the full amount, and I also did did not have a regulator on it at the time. So the inject the the ECU was trying to compensate way too much and ended up instead of the injector being down to the hole it was literally raising all the injectors and so the instead of the fuel going down into the um, intake manifold ports or the holes it they it was causing the injectors to right raise up and it was spitting fuel out so basically it was spitting fuel out this way and all eight of them were doing it so it, it was pretty bad it was it happened fast and it was a lot of fuel so anyways <clears throat> I have the box of uh, 
and that will fix that problem. And after that, the uh, it'll be done. So, anyways, that was it. Just wanted to give you guys a. Hope you guys could see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blind the hell out of you guys. I just not realize the light. <laughs> It's early. I think it's like five o'clock in the morning. So I don't know. I've always been a night owl f for over ten years, twelve years. So um, yep. Any questions? Uh, feel free to put them down in the comment section. And uh, please subscribe and like because well. Uh, the block has arrived as of last week. It is currently over at the shop now, and um, we are getting this stuff going. So, um, once again, uh, I'll post the uh, pictures and links and whatnot up to my uh, Road Racing Motorsports page on Facebook, and that would take that would link you to YouTube. So, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy, and uh, once again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Alright guys, have a good one.